It's 714 on this Wednesday morning. Aurea, you might have one of the coolest jobs in Edmonton. I like to think so. You get to show up each and every day at the John Jensen Nature Center, and I'm sure that you find new things to explore every single day that you're there. That's right. Okay, so you were saying when it comes to summer camps, of course, you have such big demand that a lot of the programs are already full, but that doesn't mean that families are out of luck. That's right. We have lots of drop-in programs at the John Jensen Nature Center through July and August. So if parents uh, with younger children or older children are looking to uh, you know find a way to pass in morning or an afternoon at the nature center we have lots of great drop-in activities um, everything from pond dipping to bug hunting um, we have lots of different activities different themes going on throughout the summer okay this is the ironically named moose yes that's right can I say hi to moose yes you can What's this, is this who, who this is who we understand to be a garter snake right yes he's, he's, he's a, a red-sided garter snake so we, we see these out in the wild here like within city limits I mean yeah. in, in parks and right around the nature center there Yep, around the nature center. Some people might find them in their gardens. Um, there are places um, just outside of Edmonton too where these guys are known to hibernate over the winter. But we do have two garter snakes on display in the exhibit room. And at 11 o'clock every day, we have a garter snake uh, or um, we also have some other animals too. But you like um, feedings. Yeah, we do animal what encounters do and feedings. These guys eat uh, fish. And they also eat dewworms. You're kidding. No. So kids, okay, families come down around 11 o'clock every day. They can mm -hmm. see that. And while they're down there, I notice you have nets out. Now, yeah. we asked you to make sure that, that the living beings get to keep on living in their natural spaces. But here's some examples <laughs> of when people head down to the water right by the nature center, that's, what they might see. That's right. So Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, we do pond dipping um, at 2.30 uh, in the afternoon. So we What's go out guy? with Look our nets and our little mini buckets, and we go down to the pond. And these are some of the things that you can find. So this is, of course, an adult dragonfly. And dragonflies are a great thing to have around because they eat mosquitoes. Absolutely. I've heard that they're signs of blessing or good luck, too. Do you buy into that? I don't know, but right, I definitely not? do like having them around because they eat insects. And, I mean, they only live for a few months as adults. What's when you this? go pond dipping, that is a dragonfly nymph. And what? they can spend two to three years in the water as an aquatic uh, two to three years stage, yep. before they become a dragonfly? Mm -hmm. That is so cool. Now, do you have, I see all the, the, the bees stuff here, the honeycomb. Do you That's actually right. have beehives there? We do have a working beehive. Um, it, uh, yeah, we uh, try to have that throughout the summer. It's in the Tegler Discovery Zone. So if people want to come by and take a look at our working beehive, uh, we have a queen, lots of worker bees, and uh, they are busy collecting pollen and making honey at this time of so year. So what, do we bring toast? Because I know that you've got <laughs> some honey out here. Am I allowed to try this? Absolutely, this is honey in the comb. This doesn't come from our beehive, but we have some commercially produced honey. There's nothing like it. Yeah, it's a little bit waxy because of course it does have that It's you know, the comb. real deal. That's right. So if people need, uh, they just need to get down there because they're so interested, they want to learn more, what do they need to do? Well, they can go to our website, edmonton.ca forward slash John Jansen and click on our link to summer drop-in programs. So we have lots of stuff going on. We have pond dipping, bug hunting, Saturdays at 2.30. We have some different themes uh, in July. We're talking about nature's recyclers. So again, with the worms. I love um, it. We have some vermicomposters, working vermicomposters in the nature center so people can donate their fruit and vegetable scraps. We have a growing green, how to attract pollinators to your backyard. Uh, theme you have going so on. many ways for people to get involved. Absolutely. And I love that you brought this along. It reiterates the point <laughs> that people can see things through a whole new perspective. Look yeah. at that. That's Dale Hudson by the camera zooming in. Yeah. Oria, thanks for joining us here. More information Thank on you. the John Jensen Nature Center on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. We'll be right back.